I've got a little bite, which we suspect is a sort of spider bite. My leg swelled up. Got bit Sunday morning, got a blister Monday. Tuesday it was swollen. Wednesday I couldn't walk. Collaboration between myself and Spoken, and the whole idea of it is we wanted to create something that made people smile, made people feel good. It's like really colourful. It's got a beautiful message hidden in. The idea was that you know people drive by and it'll brighten up their day. So that, that's kind of the thing. So, how long is this going to take you, then? Uh, I don't know. I'm normally good at estimating, but at the moment... Bearing in mind, his estimate, you need to add about at least 25%. We'll continue. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know, because at the moment, we've had a lot of debate about scissor lifts because of the floor being uneven. That's why I'm starting on a ladder, which is what I've got, so we weren't delaying. So I'm going to try to do as much on the low level as I can, and then get scissor lift. And I'd normally work at the top downwards, but I think this one, I'm going to do a lot at the bottom and then go back at the top. I don't think I've actually filmed on such a busy road before either. I just think all the people walking by right now, driving by, they're thinking, what, what has he done with that wall? No, like, because at the moment it just looks like loads of gibberish. Have you got a base coat yet? No. The wall's not bad, to be honest. I kind of like... I like walls when they age. As long as they don't, like, age where, like, a big piece falls out, like a big piece falls out through the main image, but I like, I like a wall aging, I think it shows character. It's the stagger in the wall. You staggered at the same time as you said staggered. Less than half a minute, 23, 24. Dun, 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 so dun, dun. I'm going to work this out. <laughs> dun, 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 I'm going to say dun, dun, dun. average dun, 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 dun. 50 cars dun, dun, per minute. Dun, dun, dun. They've been to count. Nathan's car count. 3,000 cars an hour. That's nice, bye. He's back. I, I, I think you're going to get 30,000 cars drive past in 10 hours. That's insane. Okay, I just want to add to that. Let's be honest, uh, Nathan's never going to be on time. Originally, this was actually going to be a four day job and it turned into five, then possibly into next week, and then it's 11 days, so it's actually 11 days. So I don't actually need to be here that often and watch him just do those uh, squiggly lines. So I'm just gonna probably fill out this next section with some time lapses. Chill, enjoy the sun, and let Nathan spray random things on the wall. Biggest wall he's ever done, good luck to him. got to interrupt this video real quick because uh, usually me and Nath have this banter backwards and forwards and it will be a case of like me capitalizing on the fact that everything goes wrong and something goes wrong not taking away the fact that every time he does his job it's you know it's great but in this case something really serious did happen and uh, he got bitten by a spider and it took a turn for the worse here he is here he is he's not got any spider-man powers just yet he seems to be fully on the ground. How you feeling, dude? Uh, all right, not too bad. I'm taking it very, very easy. So, yeah, as long as I don't put too much weight on it, I'm all right. How did it happen? Uh, Sunday, I was clearing some brambles and um, I got a little bite, which we suspect is a sort of spider bite with the context. Um, but yeah, my leg swelled up. Got bit Sunday morning. Got a blister Monday. Tuesday it was swollen. Wednesday I couldn't walk. And then I was in hospital Wednesday. Evening. Any Spider-Man powers yet? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to be really... I know a lot of people are going to say I shouldn't be here, but I... I 
had to do something. I had to like, I had to do something. So I'm just taking it easy, doing a little bit. What's your plan for today then? What are you going to get done today? Uh, I want to try and get this corner finished. Just so, just so people can see a bit of progress. And it's not very big. I ain't got to use a big ladder. So I'm going to get this little section looking a bit neat, tidy, a bit of colour. It's people at least see something happening. Yeah. So that, that's kind of all I'm going for. Is so we're staying on the ground today? Yeah, very, very low. Nothing where I don't have to... Um, that too much weight. What you did miss though, you missed my number one fan was here when I arrived. Who was that? Margaret. I don't know how old Margaret is, but his mum Mark messaged me saying my number one fan, his mum Margaret, wants to come and meet me. So I met Margaret today. Big up Margaret. Big up Margaret. Let's do a big wall for her. That's it, that's it. <laughs> Margaret's getting props all of this week. Number one fan. Unless anybody wants to top Margaret's number one fan status, Margaret is the one right now. <laughs> so bro, I'm going to get some time lapses and uh, yeah, hopefully from the next scene we'll, um, we'll see some colour on the wall. Alright, anything you want to say before I go? No. No, don't get burned. <laughs> Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a Spider-Man does. In the last do you want me to look at the camera? Well, it's up to you, mate. I'm You're new really to this. Know. Just relax. You said uh, something about following. So, <laughs> They've got uh, a big following. Come on. So what I've seen in the last 12 to 18 months, I guess, is like I've made a lot more personal connection with people. Yeah. So I feel like it's gone beyond art and people... I get the most wonderful messages about stuff I do from people I've never met. Yeah. So like I've started to take it a bit more seriously. I've tried to start replying to people and uh, uh, yeah, giving them more like a personal response because I never expected to have any fans before. Like I just paint stuff, but like you know, I don't know. It's weird. You smashed it, mate. I, I know a little bit what it's like to kind of be famous, but not. I don't feel famous, but I feel a duty to. If people are supporting you, you should show them love in return. As usual, half ten. What time is he supposed to be? He's supposed to be at half ten. Then half eleven. What's time now? Twelve. Twelve o'clock. <laughs> Twelve. We've got well, Mixy in the house. I say in the house, we're outside the house. What's good? We've got Mixy. Anyone who don't know who Mixy, Mixy is an OG. That's a, that's a, OG. I'm trying, I'm, not, I'm trying to think of a word that's not original gangster that I can replace it with. I was too slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, the Chinese characters here they say Ren Shang Pu Duan, all right, which means life is bitter and short. But they've crossed it out. So that's why it's confusing, because this first character, there is a version of this first character that has a line through it. So it could be Da, which means big, but it's not, it's Ren. Ja. 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 Yo. Yo. Ja yo. Ja yo. What do we do? I'll never tell you. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. It's, uh, it just means, it means come on, it means add oil. It means add oil. So it's like, come on. It's like work harder, graft. Yeah, add oil. Like, you like add elbow grease. Like, yeah, like you yeah. add oil to a fire. And it, you know, add oil. So that was Mixie, he's an old friend of ours, lived in Peterborough for a long, long time, went away, went to China, came back, now speaks fluent, says he can't, but I just literally watched him have a full conversation with uh, a nice couple of uh, Chinese people. And uh, yeah, it's great to watch, great to see. What's your plan of action, dude? Uh... Ah. Mike's not in the best of moods today, he's had a few, uh, a few business problems. It's the joys of running a successful business. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the plan is. I'm gonna paint something. I might start down on the lettering. You got this, bro. Yeah. You know I'll this be, is I'll be alright in a little while, that's it. I just, I don't think too much pressure all comes at one time. I'll get, I'll get a little bit funny, so my leg is dirty. A little bit, um, Struggle. Okay. You do this every time, though, man. You have a big project on, you face all these problems, and you get on with it. Yeah, 
okay, all right. Okay, all right. Should be good. Right, what we're gonna be on the last on the last day, yeah. before you do your last little spray, yeah. we'll do a meet and greet day so people can meet the king of art, the yeah. best in the world, you, and then we'll talk about why we did the wall, what is the design about, yeah. and what it represents. And this way, I want people to every time somebody comes past this wall, at least smile, you know, yeah. Yeah, smile yeah. and bring like a little bit of a positive um, energy. What do you yeah. think so far? Yeah. Getting there, like there's a few. There's a few things in the design which I know are going to cause me a problem, but it's always it a problem out. with Nathan. There's <laughs> always a problem. <laughs> He'll yeah. overcome it. He'll overcome it. No, yeah, yeah, it'll be all right. Um, but when I've got a truck, I'll be a bit it's, it's limited to what I can do without a truck. So, but truck here tomorrow. I'm going to start on that top corner, work my way down, and then get all the top done, and then it'll like start to take a lot more shape. So. Here we go, this is day four, day four for me anyway, uh, doing some filming with Nathan. If you just checked in on this video right now, we've been here for four or five days. I've been filming him, doing some behind the scenes stuff, and I'm also doing a highlight video for a project, uh, which he put together himself. But he actually applied for some funding uh, along with two other artists, and it's called Diesel Streets, where they're gonna be cleaning up streets with some great artwork uh, and putting on art exhibitions and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, enough of that plugin. I'm here today and he's finally got his truck so they can get to a higher point. This is his biggest wall as well. Uh, there's a lot of dramas. If you've just joined us now, there's some dramas. He got bitten by a spider randomly in the garden. Almost lost his leg, but we cracked on. Well, I didn't do anything. I was just laughing at him, to be fair. Uh, but he's back and he's got the truck. Now we're going to get some work done. And yeah, let's go and say hello to him, see if he's in a good mood. Here he is. The man himself. Here he is, here he is. Good. You seem happier. Are you coming up there with me? I'm scared. I ain't going up there. <laughs> How am I going to get an angle up there? Just you facing can the wall. See Peterborough from a different light. Maybe. Hiya. We can give it a go. It's cool up there. You want me to go up there? I don't know. Should well, I go up there? Oh, what now? Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Man's been in a plane. I can do this. If you haven't seen me being in a plane while filming Nathan, you should check that out now. Right, I'm coming. Oh, gee. Well, that's supposed to be worse than me. No. Jesus. Nah, sizzle it. I called it a truck. <laughs> Jesus. Oi. Bloody weight throws, mate. I'm a little bit wobbly. I'm a little bit wobbly. Jeez. I'm not great with heights. Remember last time I was on the plane? <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, I'll take it I'm wobbly, my legs are shaking. <laughs> Jeez. How do you control it? Leave it. Leave it. Yeah, leave it. I'm down. Simple as that.
found my headphones to start with, that was cool, it's right underneath. Look. Finish the hats, I'm going to work quite central, because the characters ain't got much overlay, like different multiple layers of transparency. If I work in that one area, I'm going to achieve quite a lot. Okay. Whereas the other areas where the characters cross over letters, there's like multiple colour changes where I have to think more. Whereas that, I ain't got to think more, so yeah, going to work straight down the middle and the little bits of the top background that are just flat. So by the end of today, the top kind of vast middle be all done. I tell you what, this was one of the most amazing moments of my life. We did a project with Unspoken called GD24, Good News 24. We was in Luton and we met this beautiful human being behind me, a homeless man who was so full of life. Beautiful man, we started talking. He had a piece of card with a phone number on it. I said, what's that dude? He said, this is a number I'm trying to get hold of my loved one, but I've got no money. I haven't even got five pounds to top of my phone. This has been going on for six months. So what I did was I talked on his phone, tried to ring this number, but fortunately it was it, 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 no answer. So what we did, we had one more go. I said, let's try one more time. We've done it and it rang. She's answered the phone. He's, he's about to cry. They started talking, where you been, where you been? So while they were talking, she told him that I moved to Brighton. You're talking about, you're talking about six hours here. Eh? Six hours journey. I said, no problem, we're doing good news 24. A beautiful brother volunteered. He said, you know what? I will take you. I will take you to Brighton. And that's what actually happened. From a man who is homeless, value of five pounds he never had. Think about your life here. Yeah? And we've gone, he's taken him to Brighton. And now he's off the streets. He's back with his loved ones. What an amazing character. This image shows love. It shows kindness. It shows how much of a colorful family we really are from the community. This wall represents us, how the world really, what it should look like, colourful. And this is an image of me and the homeless guy giving him a hug. And he told me as well that he hasn't been hugged like that for over a year. Walls of this scale is not um, something you get to do every day. So, I, mean, I always thought, like, I've done, some, I've done some big walls for work, but, but never sort of a solo project and, as I say, in my own city. It's, it's quite special as well.